In this video, I'll demonstrate how to evaluate the imaginary term i at any exponent. Before we tackle these questions, you have to keep in mind the following four things. The first thing is that i, on its own, represents the square root of negative 1. If we were to square this i value, we would end up with the following. The square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1. And we know from prior knowledge that square rooting the same base twice eliminates the square root, leaving us with negative 1. So i to the power of 2 is equal to negative 1. If we were to cube the i term, we would end up with the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1. Now we just determined that two square roots of negative 1 is equal to negative 1. Therefore, the cube of i is equal to negative square root of negative 1. In other words, negative this term. And lastly, and to further simplify this part, negative i is equal to i to the power of 3. And lastly, if we were to fourth root, or sorry, fourth power i, we end up with the square root of negative 1 four times. This is equal to negative 1. This is equal to negative 1 due to this. That being said, we have negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to 1. So therefore, i to the power of 4 is equal to 1. Now I want you to pay attention to this next part. Any multiple of 4 will also equal to 1. So I've summarized my findings right here. And we're going to use these findings to evaluate the following three questions. i to the power of 11. Now, notice that this, these set of rules don't extend to an n of 11. So what we have to do is break this i to the power of 11 down using our algebraic rules and figure out what this will reduce to. So I can break down i to the power of 11 into i to the power of 8 and i to the power of 3. i to the power of 8, 8 is a multiple of 4, so this reduces to 1. That reduces to 1. There's nothing that you should write down. And i to the power of 3, we discovered, is equal to negative i. So therefore, i to the power of 11 is the same as negative i. Let's move on. Here we have i to the power of 26. Now 26 is not a multiple of 4, so we can't just reduce it to 1 right away. But what we can do is we can break down i into 24 and i into 2. 24 is a multiple of 4. 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6, so therefore this becomes a 1. And i to the power of 2, we learned from up here, is equal to negative 1. So i to the power of 26 is equal to negative 1. And lastly, i to the power of 16. I'll let you tackle this one. Is 16 a multiple of 4? It is. So the answer to this is simply positive 1. If you have any questions related to this lesson, Feel free to comment below and also like our video to support us. If we didn't help with uh, this topic in particular, you can use our website at biology-forums.com and ask your questions there. See you soon.